zone. Duke starts out in that matchup. Soul's shot was too strong. Here's Gorecki. We know about Duke's defense. They are tough to score on. They're long, they're physical, they're very athletic, especially in that back row of that zone. Coming off a win on Sunday at North Carolina, 73-54. They shot 49% as a team in that game and made eight three-pointers. Directly looking for the first three-pointer of the game, and he comes off the iron. Oh, the back. DC beat Clemson yesterday, 85-73. This from Ortlip. Two rebounds for Gorecki, and when she boards it, she can get him in transition quickly. Nice steal. Boston College, 19 and 11 on the season, but they give it up here. Gorecki on the two on one, got fouled as Gerard got back. And that kind of cut to the hoop. You can't let them cut across the front of your face, just like Taylor Ortlip, just like Gorecki do. Ortlip let Gorecki cut across the Best coaching staff in the ACC, so I love just her deference to her players and her coaches. And obviously, as everybody knows in basketball, it takes a unit, but she is certainly an excellent leader for this BC team. Kelly, she won the Coach of the Year award in this league last year at this age. She's as skilled as a back-to-the-basket player as there is in the ACC. Left and right, terrific footwork. What a bounce pass by Boykin. Directly over to Odom. Them. It doesn't even seem real to say it, but Coach P said of those two players, their path to recovery has been full of bravery and their perseverance has been unbelievable. And when I asked Kyra why I come back from all this, she said, when I watch my teammates play, one through five. Right now she's on Odom. She just was on the point guard. The lead is two for Duke. Look at number 13. Now she's going to guard on the post. Gorecki. Tough twisting baseline attempt. Got it back somehow. And lays it in. Gerard is ripping the ropes for the Eagles. That is just great execution. You turned down a good shot for a better shot. Unselfish. After making four three-pointers in the win against the Tigers yesterday, Gorecki behind the line. And she's rocking it. In the regular season of scoring, just over 14 points per game. Forces that one up on the rim. Up ahead, Gorecki lays it in. Beats everybody. When in doubt, shoot it. These teams are combined 8 for 14 outside the three-point line. Somebody's going to have a double ice bucket after tonight. <laughs> might and shoots till their arm falls off. You keep hitting me in the arm, I might need the ice bucket. Final 50 seconds I thought, the first half. I thought this was going to be all about defense. It's been all about offense. It was on that play as Lambert deflected it up to Gorecki. And a foul against BC. All right, crank it up the second half between Boston College and Duke. We're so glad that you're with us and you've been with us for the last three days. I mean, this is just pure basketball. Basket cuts, open shots, offensive rebounds. Good strap, six triples against that Duke defense for Boston College. Second three from Ortlip. Boy, Boston College is really shooting the ball with a lot of confidence. This is a team that tied with Duke for fourth place, right? I mean, Duke has a tiebreaker over them, and there's a steal by Dickens. Devils to burn one of their timeouts. Seven of ten for the Eagles on three pointers, well above their. Season average, which ranks 10th in the conference, poked the whip. So the run right now for Boston College is 9 0. Gorecki slicing between two defenders, and she dropped it off to Williams. Thanks to Odom with the save. Probably not the best possession BC's had. Duke came to Greensboro, winners of seven of their last eight, nine of their last 11. Six-game winning streak in February. They're really efforting to get Gorecki the basketball. Second chance for Gorecki. Bottom the physical two. with her in that matchup, but Taylor Ortliff has her right now. 13 points for Gorecki in the game, all in the first half. It's a lock and trail, which means as a defender, you stay on her outside hip on all that screening action. Tough shot for Gorecki. And you chase her over the second-best scorer in the ACC.
who has three baskets in the game. Soul now with three personal fouls. Gorecki past Ortlip. It will fall. Put all the turnaround. Gorecki had the position. Again, I think that's too quick. That's nine rebounds for Gorecki. Drops it off to Williams. And that's one. one of two. The first miss from the free throw line. Eight points now for Emma Guy. Second leading scorer on this team in the regular season with 13.4 points per game. Gorecki lining up behind the line for three. And Gorecki nails it. You don't have time to measure that one. She's four for four from beyond the arc and 14 points for Dickens. A one-point game. Gorecki, straight away, Bang. in her career, eighth in school history. They try to go low, and it's intercepted Williams. That was a bad turnover, because now Dick's in transition. They've made their last six field goals, make it seven. And so Gorecki with 25. Odom with 20. Leading scores for Duke. Williams also has 12 in the double digits. Couple of Eagles fall. Gorecki off the backboard. The follow no good from Odom. A great job of working inside, but you can't telegraph that pass. A little ball fake might have taken Odom away from digging in. Duke just keeps running the same set. It's working. Odom's over 20 points for the sixth time this year. Well, Dickens is going to get a chance on Gorecki right now. Shot clock running down. It's a five for Gorecki. Trying to carve her way. Could not get the angle off the back. Woven by Gorecki. She's made them all. Well, Dickens has got the assignment right now. Gorecki got it back from Odin. Pass stolen Dickens. Gorecki. Lambert. Williams offensive board. Gorecki down the lane looking for Williams. Off of Duke. Timeouts. Blue Devils just call the timeout. Dickens on the catch on Gorecki. High hands. Dickens in is in a no-help situation. They run her off a triple, and she gets free. Gorecki misses. Guy has the rebound.